Hello everyone. In this video, we shall be discussing offer letters, appointment letters, and employment contracts. We are going to be looking at the differences between the three and also the legal aspects. To begin with, let us look at what are offer letters. An offer letter is a letter provided by an employer to a candidate after he or she has been selected for a particular role or position within the company or the organization. This letter shows an employer's interest to hire the particular candidate. It is also important for us to remember that this letter is merely an offer made to the employee. Hence, it contains certain basic information about what the candidate can expect upon joining the particular organization. Some of this information include job title, starting date, salary, employment benefits, and so on. It is also important that offer letters include a deadline within which the offer is valid. What is an appointment letter? An appointment letter is a document provided to a candidate to confirm his or her employment with a company or organization. It is provided only after an employee accepts the offer letter and it contains further information about the candidate's employment with the company. Such letters often contain information in relation to the candidate's roles, responsibilities, and sometimes contains details about the company's internal policies. Some of the information seen in an appointment letter include the required forms to be filled out and documents to be submitted at the time of appointment, timeframes for these particular steps, leave entitlement, employment benefits, and so on. It is also important to remember that if a candidate has misrepresented any information or has withheld any information, the employer has the right to terminate the candidate's employment in, on the basis of the terms of the appointment letter. What is an employment contract? An employment contract is a legally binding document that states the rights and responsibilities of the employer and the employee. It is written in legal language and contains the guidelines in relation to amendment, renewal of contract, and so on. Some of the important points to be noted within an employment contract are dispute resolution, confidentiality, renewal and term of employment, amendment, protection of intellectual property, and so on. It is important for us to understand that any change to the employment contract will be done in accordance with the existing terms of the contract. Now, let us consider the difference between offer letters, appointment letters, and employment contracts. To begin with, let us consider the purpose. An offer letter stands as an offer and is used by an employer to express his or her interest to hire a particular employee. An appointment letter is a document that confirms the employee's employment and an employment contract is an official legal document that establishes the relationship between the employer and the employee. When considering the contents, it is seen that offer letters only contain certain basic information of what the candidate can expect upon accepting the offer for employment. Whereas an appointment letter is more detailed and contains information on the employee's duties and responsibilities upon joining the employment. An employment contract contains details about the duties and responsibilities of both the employer and the employee. Now, let us consider when are these given. It is seen that offer letters are given after a candidate has successfully been selected for a particular role in an organization. Whereas appointment letters and employment contracts are only provided after the particular candidate has accepted the offer letter. Let us now consider the legal aspects of offer letters. Due to the nature of offer letters, it contains only basic details about an employee's employment. And so it is for this reason that it would be difficult to determine an employee's rights and responsibilities within a company or organization solely based on an offer letter. Yet, offer letters have been referenced and relied on in many cases in considering an employee's rights within a company. 
An example for this is seen in the case of Srinivasa Ramaya versus Larson and Togoro Limited, where it was found that offer letters do contain the terms of employment and hence should be considered when determining an employee's rights and responsibilities. Yet, there have been several cases where it was found that an offer letter did not contain enough information regarding the employee's employment. In such cases, appointment letters and employment contracts have been taken into consideration. An example for this is seen in the case of Tajul Maulud bin Zur versus CRSM construction, where it was seen that an offer letter was silent on many aspects of the employment, and so it could not stand on its own. Hence, it was determined that such offer letters were never intended to be a complete agreement, but was merely a summary of the main terms and conditions. And so the appointment letter or employment contract, when provided after an offer letter, it would take precedence over the offer letter. It is also important to remember that an, if an employment contract does not provide enough information on certain terms, an offer letter could be referenced previously discussed, appointment letters are more detailed and contain a better explanation of an employee's roles and responsibilities within the company. The importance of an appointment letter was seen in under Section 61F of the Occupational Safety, Health and Working Conditions Code of 2020, where it stated that it was the duty of every employer to issue an appointment letter to the employee. This is to ensure that every employee receives a detailed document containing the terms and conditions of his or her employment. The appointment letter was also relied on in various cases. An example of this is seen in the case of Automobile Association Upper India versus PO Labor Court and another, where it was stated that an appointment letter is one of the determining factors that establishes an employer-employee relationship. Let us look at the legal aspects of an employment contract. An employment contract contains the rights and responsibilities of both parties. Such documents state the clear work expectations of an employee and the rights guaranteed to him or her during the term of employment. Employment contracts are legally binding. However, there are cases where this is called into question. An example for this is seen in the case of Tarun Paliwal versus Melinda Sustainable Environment Private Limited, where the validity of the employment contract was brought into question. It was found that the employer had referred and relied on the terms of the employment contract at various stages during the employee's employment. And hence, any claim of fraud in relation to the employment contract was not considered. Conclusion, we have seen the differences between offer letters, appointment letters, and employment contracts. We have seen the different roles they play and the different information they provide to the employee. We have also seen the legal aspects of the three and how the, it can be applicable in different scenarios. Thank you for joining us for this video. We hope you found it informative. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us or leave a comment. Thank you and have a nice day.